It comes up a lot. The damage that happens to our skin that causes us to age. We are going to spend some time now talking about some incredible research and what you need to be concerned about when it comes to the environment and your skin. Please welcome Art Pellegrino. He is the Vice President of Research and Development at Elizabeth Arden. So uh, you've done some great research, uh, and this is great because we're going to benefit from it. So you are sort of on the cutting edge of innovation that's coming into Arden, aren't you? Right. So I'm in charge of uh, all the innovation and product development for Elizabeth Arden, packaging, formulas, yeah. all, the, all the stuff to keep everyone looking beautiful. What are the big environmental things that we need to be looking out for when it comes to aging? So we discovered about 10 years ago that really the primary cause of the signs of aging that we all care about are actually the environmental factors. It's not so much to do with our genes. Uh, it's, it's really more the sun, smoke, and pollution that we face every day. Yeah. Whether we're in the city or in the country, we're all exposed to those things every day. And, and about 80% of the signs of aging are actually caused by these environmental factors. So 80%, we're talking sun? Sun, UVA, yeah. UVB, and yeah. even infrared, yeah. which is the heat from the sun does damage. Um, smoke, pollution, and stress, even the internal stress of our hectic everyday lives contributes to it. Smoke in the atmosphere and smoke and smoke also smoke. Smoke in the smoke. atmosphere and also smoking. Okay, all right. So you did an interesting thing. You actually took twins and, and had them exposed to different elements. Well, they were twins that actually grew up with having different lifestyles. Got it. So we, you look at twins because genetically they're exactly the same, right? So if you look at the twins here, it almost looks like one woman 15 years apart, but they're yeah. actually twins, and these pictures were taken the same day. So because they're gen genetically the same, the only difference in their lifestyle was one has been smoking most of her adult life. And you can see the dramatic difference um, between her skin just from smoking. Just from smoking, that's going to make that kind of a difference. What that does kind smoking of a do? It's just all, the, all those toxins? Well, smoking is a toxin, and all of these things, whether it's uh, from sun, smoke, or pollution, create free radicals in our skin. And free radicals are these high energy particles that bounce around inside of our skin, causing damage, breaking down collagen and elastin, uh, stimulating pigmentation, which gives you a dull, uneven look. Yeah. And, and, and so it's really important to have a strong antioxidant then because antioxidants come in and quench these free radicals. And we're familiar with a lot of antioxidants in our foods, yeah. but antioxidants are also key for skin care. Yeah, because there's only so many blueberries you can eat, right, right Art? That's right. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this other set of twins now and see the difference between the two. Right. One's been sort of more exposed to sun. So this is, yes, yeah, so this is one twin who lived in an area that was a lot more sunny. And so the top two pictures, you can see the twin on the left was uh, much more exposed to the sun. But then both of them um, had plastic surgery done. They were both uh, getting facelifts. Right. And you can see that the facelift did not hold up for the one that had more sun damage as well as it did for the other one. Yikes. So even plastic surgery does not do as well when you've got that kind of sun damage. Okay. So the, the, the point here is that you have to really try and get some antioxidants back into your right. skin. What are we looking for in terms of ingredients to help us? Right. So we, you really need a strong SPF, first of all. Mm -hmm. But SPF doesn't, doesn't stop all the damage from the sun. And it really doesn't do anything for smoke and pollution. Right. So these antioxidants really quench the free radicals that all of these environmental stresses um, cause. Mm -hmm. And so we've done a lot of testing. About 10 years ago, we introduced edibinone as the strongest antioxidant in our testing versus vitamin C, vitamin E, CoQ10, and, and others. And since then, we've continued that research. And now we found that a blend of antioxidants is really more powerful than any single antioxidant. Mm. Um, because of all these different stressors, you, you need different antioxidants to um, to, to have, have the best effect. Okay, let's talk about the idibinone then. Mm -hmm. What is that and, and what is it doing to your skin? So it's a synthetic derivative, like it's, it's, it's from the same family as CoQ10 and, and some other okay, so well-known antioxidants, yeah. but it's really, it's really sort of the next generation. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was originally used by doctors who were surgeons who are conducting um, organ transplants. Oh. And they used it to preserve the organs while they were waiting to be transplanted. So the idea came up that, well, if it works on those kinds of tissues, maybe it's really good for your skin. Put it on my skin. It's going to keep me preserved, right? right? So a product, so a product that's, that's got, so, smart. so a product that's got a high SPF as well as edibinone and other powerful antioxidants is really the right combination because, again, right. SPF alone, while a must-have, 
isn't isn't enough. Okay, all right. Uh, so we know the sorts of products we need to have in our regimen. I want to talk a little bit about what's happened over the last 10 to 15 years. So there's mm -hmm. always different trends we see. Right. When it comes to anti-aging, what's different between what we know now and what we knew, say, 15 years ago? There's so much more diagnostics now about measuring your skin, instrumentation, digital imaging techniques, as well as new ingredients. So it's not mm -hmm. just new ingredients, but it's new te test methodologies as well. And I think the advances in the antioxidant arena are really significant because unless you stop the damage, even the best serum or anti-aging cream isn't going to do as well because you're continuing to get new damage. Mm. It's kind of like a leaky, trying to fill a leaky bucket. Unless you plug the hole, you're really never going to fill the bucket. Unless you stop the damage, mm -hmm. you're never going to repair the previous damage. Instead of a Band-Aid solution, you need something right. that's going to stop it from going in that protection direction. Is Drop, one, stop protection the trajectory. is number one. Okay. Now, I want to talk a little bit about um, genetics versus mm -hmm. sort of trying to stop that damage. Would you, would it be, a, a, does it depend on your genetics, like how much you age based on these toxins that are out in the environment? A little play bit, a, role? a little bit, but again, most of the damage is due to the environmental stresses versus your genetic makeup. Okay. And when you think about it, there's really not much you can do about, you can't pick your parents, right? Mm -hmm. But you can, but, so you're lucky if you got good genetics or, or not, but the environment is something you can actually control. Right. So the thing that actually causes the most damage is the thing that we can control the most, which is actually good news. How about different skin tones and complexions or ethnicities? Right. Is there a difference with the way we take in those pollutants? There is. The effects of, of the stresses uh, manifest themselves differently. So okay. some women get lines and wrinkles, uneven pigmentation, um, firmness, firmness and elasticity. Yeah. But every woman is affected by the environment, whether she has, has fair skin, dark skin, Asian right. descent. We're all uh, prone to it, so it's important for all of us to protect ourselves. From all right, there goes that dream. All right. <laughs> Because, uh, okay, so if you're Asian, you might have hyperpigmentation, black, loss of firmness, white, you might get the lines and wrinkles. Right. Um, so basically, we're all on the same team. Ladies, right. you just got to do something to stop that damage, it's right? most important to protect with a sunscreen and a strong antioxidant system. Okay, very good lesson. The, as the fundamental of your skincare routine. Perfect.